Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Kaylee Ota. And I'm Irene Melanes. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at how our amazing band and choir concerts went. I went to both concerts and everyone did great. Now in school news, the no activities list is posted outside the VP office at the student store and on the student bulletin board in the MP room. If you are on the list, you can attend after school detention today in HD5 to get your name removed. Key Cup is hosting a fundraiser at Key Cup this Friday at, at October 11th. Come in after your finals and get your refreshing boba and also help out Key Cup at the same time. Don't forget to mention that you are supporting COHS Key Club. Hey Wolfpack, the outlet is coming up in January by the Thespian Society. If you are interested in submitting a piece of writing for the outlet, we'll be given the opportunity to come to our writing workshops, held every other Thursday in the theater room, HE5 from 315 to 4. Let's watch this informational to find out more. Hi guys, my name is Yasmin. I'm Evan. That's the wrong one. We are running UV Day this year. UV Day is a day for students to get together and connect um, over their similarities and just build community at CO. So applications will be available today outside of the leadership room and this is an all-day event so you will need to make sure that you are form seat out for the whole day. We're excited for Unity Day because we want to give students the opportunity to connect with one another. We want to hear your voices. Now let's pass it over to Alex and Kevin for your In the News Report. 
What's good, Wolfpack? I'm Alex McCarty. And I'm Kevin Cativo, and we're here to catch you up with what's going on in the world. Millions of people in California woke up in the dark Wednesday after PG&E started shutting off power to prevent its equipment from starting wildfires during hot, windy weather. PG&E cut power to more than 500,000 customers in Northern California, and it plans to gradually turn off electricity to nearly 800,000 customers. Luckily, Sacramento will not be affected by this, but the utility plans to shut off power in, thir in parts of 34 nor northern, central, and coastal Californian counties. However, people should be outraged by the move, Government Gavin Newsom said. No one is satisfied with this, and no one is happy with this, he said. Yeah, even though California is moving to prevent wildfires, I honestly don't know if this is going to be the best way to do it. I yeah. guess we'll just have to wait and see. Me neither. Uh, on to Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood announces that it plans to spend $45 million during the 2020 election in its effort to help Democrats unseat President Trump and flip the Senate. Next November, quote, our very rights and freedoms will be on the ballot, end quote, said Kelly Robinson, executive director for Planned Parenthood Votes. Already we've seen Trump and his buddies in Congress and state legislators do everything they can to strip us of our rights and access to plan the ac strip us of our rights and access to health care. Unquote. Planned Parenthood intends to create large scale grassroots campaigns with print, radio, television, and direct mail ads, as well as neighborhood canvases. The campaign announced its targeting battleground states of Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Michigan, Minnesota, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Contrary to this, the White House says it won't cooperate with the recent and ongoing impeachment inquiries. The Trump administration, according to the White House, is calling an illegitimate effort to overturn the 2016 election. We'll see how this turns out in the coming weeks, so be sure to pay attention. Mm -hmm. But that's all we have for you this week, Wolfpack. I'm Alex McCarty. And I'm Kevin Cativo. See, see you all next term, term Wolfpack. Thanks, guys. Attention freshmen. Do you need some additional support studying for finals? Your link leaders are here to help. Link will be hosting a Karen with a Pack session after school today from 3.30 to 5 in HL3. Come get help with Math 1 and 2, Spanish, and any other subject you're struggling with. Snacks will also be provided. Friday's big game is against Franklin, and we are the home team. Come out and support the Pack. It's a pink out game, so grab a pink shirt at a student store for $15. All proceeds go to charity. BSU will be making vision boards today. If you're interested in creating your own vision board, join us in both lunches in HG10. BSU strives to create a culturally diverse, inclusive, and brave space for, to build, foster student unity. All students are welcome and encouraged to come. Hey seniors, Great America forums are due on November 2nd. If you're interested in going to Great America, pick up your applications in the student store and turn them in no later than November 2nd. The cost is $95. Don't miss out on this awesome senior activity. Are you looking for ways to boost your college resume? Are you looking for to ways to get involved in your student campus activities? If the answer is yes, then join us on History Day. It's a perfect day for you. And each year, more than 200 students use this performance, artistic displays, documentaries, and websites to start and celebrate history. Come check out what History Day is all about at our info session on October 16th at 11.30 in HN4. You can also talk to Ms. Dietrichs in HN4 or Ms. Dreyers in HN2. Unity Day is a day full of connecting with your peers and building new relationships. It is an ASB-run program where all students from different backgrounds, ethnicities, and beliefs come together to understand and recognize our similarities. The goal is to unify CO and the students on our campus. Unity Day will be held on October 23rd from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Now let's check it out. Go to a professional story event with your classmates. Are you are you interested and in looking for an excuse to go to a real hockey game? Well, the Wolfpack Performing Arts wants you to join him. Orange, you glad the term is over? With a kickoff session and opener at the Stockton Heat on Saturday, October 12th. Let's paint the arena orange. It's a Friday night football game, but harder hits and more epic battles for you to score. 
Come turn on the heat as our very own COHS choir sings the national anthem. Our marching band plays music in the stands and the Hype Dance Company performs at intermission. To top it off, you can score discounted tickets for up to 40% off and a portion of your ticket will support the Wolfpack Performing Arts. We'll see you in section 118. Before we go, let's check out today's Hysteria Here's This Much Fun Fact. Hi, my name is Mara Costa and I'm here to talk to you about Papa Francisco or Pope Francis. Pope Francis was born on December 17, 1936 in Buenos Aires, Argentina. His birth name was Jorge Mario Borgoglio, but changed it to Pope Francis in honor of St. Francis of Italy. In 2013, he was elected the 266th Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. He is currently 79 years old and was elected Man of the Year in Time Magazine. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Kaylee Ota. And I'm Irene Melanes. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Good, Good luck, luck on finals, finals Wolf Pack. pack.